Alright everybody, get ready to head out to the house it's December the 22nd. Not too sure exactly what time it is, but it's after lunch anyways. So, uh, I still have a few uh, cards and stuff to send out. I was really busy uh, in December, I apologize for that. But uh, we will be getting them in the mail. I'm going to be sending out more today. And probably more into January, just to let you know, so you'll be getting some late stuff. But, uh, anyways, I uh, just wanted to show you, um, I do a lot of highway driving. Um, drive back and forth to, to Winnipeg and to Riding Mountain there. And, you know, it's about a two and a half hour drive. And then sometimes I go out to Russell too. Um, and that's even further. That's, uh, you know, from here to... Close to the Saskatchewan border. Um, so I see a lot of stuff. And in the last uh, couple of days, I've uh, not only helped pull people out, but I've pulled people out. And uh, so I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. I've um, done a lot of research. There's a lot of cheapies out, and I didn't want to get a cheap one. So anyways um i got a i got one i got a couple of them actually um one for me so this is it this is a garmin this is a dash cam so it's kind of like a review i guess um now i'm gonna open it Let's figure out how to open it there's a little tab here i think oh, yeah. Just take a look at it here. I apologize, it's going to be probably a long video, but and then I'll uh, the child proof these <laughs> and uh, you know, I want to wreck it. I know there is a box. Oh, and I'm going to pause this and I'm going to show you what I got for my little brother. Christmas. I'm actually going there right now to meet him. They are held up in Carmen, which is uh, about an hour and a bit away. Uh, that storm really kicked the crap out of a lot of people. So my daughter actually works for a, a communications company here in Winnipeg, and uh, she's going to be a Spanish teacher right away. Um, but uh, right now she's working there, and I drove out yesterday to. Uh, bring her Starbucks because she loves that caramel macchiato thing. And I went out there on, on the perimeter, and of course, it's really bad on the perimeter yesterday. Things have lightened up quite a bit today. We're supposed to get more snow though on Friday and tonight. Um, so, anyways, I go there and I had to go to the washroom, man. I'm like, holy cow, I gotta go to the washroom. I don't know why it hit me, but I just had to go. I had to go. I had to go pee. All right. So I go to, I'm like, well, I'll just skip in the Walmart here, right? No. Power's up. Whole grid's out on that side of the city. So I'm like, oh, dance around like a monkey. I'm like, ah. Finally, I found Giant Tiger. They got their own power grid system. So got in there, did my thing. And I had gone to the Safeway, and the girl's like, I'm sorry, the uh, closed right now because power's out. I said, oh, hey, can you text me because my daughter wants a Starbucks. I'm not driving around the city to find a Starbucks. I just found out today that it's pretty far. So I went to see my daughter. It was packed in there. And they have their own power grid, too. And I'm having a heck of a time opening this box. So I'm just going to rip it open. So anyways, um, sitting in there, and it's packed. And I draw a number, number 76 or whatever. 20th person in line. And then I just, I got a neat uh, text from the girl at Safeway, and she's like, yeah, yeah, we're open again. So I texted my daughter, and she's like, okay, Dad. So, head over there, grab her her Starbucks, and um, man, bring it back. And, and when I was there, I'm like, oh, you know, I'll try that vanilla bean thing, right? I don't drink coffee. I haven't drank coffee in three years. And I know why I don't drink coffee. I think it's just like, I used to smoke. And I don't smoke now. I can't stand the smell of smoke. I hate it. It gives me a headache. And 
So I get this vanilla bean thing. I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm stupid. I'm not a Starbucks person. So, I think, oh yeah, some vanilla milk or something. <laughs> no, just fucking coffee, man. And, uh, was, and I'm like, I, I paid $6 for this? I'm, like, I'm going to drink it, right? I, I only drank half. <laughs> so, but later left a god-awful taste in my mouth. And so I had to drive from, I dropped it off with Megan, and I told her to stay home. We were supposed to have Christmas today um, at the house. So we haven't had our, technically, our Christmas yet. We've had our family's Christmas and stuff like that, but not, we haven't even exchanged gifts yet. <laughs> so I told her to stay home. She's got a little tiny car. I'm, I'm not comfortable with her driving on the highway. Um, especially in that, because that was crazy. I, I came over top of a bridge yesterday. There was a guy on my ass, and he had a freaking one-ton freaking diesel, and he was right on my ass. And as I came up on that hill on the overpass, I hit my hazards, and I plowed right into the snow. It was just snow-packed, and I'm like, whoa. And, of course, this guy, he, he thank God he noticed that. And as I came over, and I'm slowing down pretty fast, and as I come over, because the snow is like at least 30 inches high, I'm plowing through, and as I come over, there's a car in the front and two trucks like this, and they're just... And so I got out, put my vest on, and I stopped all the traffic going back. Because if that guy behind me, and I wasn't in front, and I didn't see what was coming, but I saw the snow. And if I didn't do what I did, that guy behind me, because he wanted to get from A to B super, super quick, he would have came over that and just plowed right into those other people. So we managed to, it took a little while, but I, and, and I'm sure the people were pissed off all the way down, about a mile long of traffic. It took a little while, but we got those people out and going and back on the road and, and out, but this is why I want that stuff. So, not necessarily for YouTube, yeah, for YouTube, but for for auto pack services too. But this thing is is apparently it's pretty cool. Um, it uh, has a if you're getting too close to a vehicle, it will beep or chirp or do something. And if somebody's coming at you, it'll burp, beep and chirp. So. And also, it notifies you if there's a red light in the area, right? So, it's kind of cool. I like that. And it's high def, so. It's kind of cool. Man, did it. Okay. Put that in there. All right. So here it is. Kind of looks like a GoPro, but not a GoPro, but it's a Garmin. Garmin. It's got all the maps in it. You can download all that stuff. So, it's pretty cool. I had to buy myself something. I was on the naughty list this year, so Santa Claus never got me anything. Yep. I'll tell you. So I went out and made some money and I bought myself something from Santa. So, what? Oh, I'll show you. We did. I did get a gift from my daughter. I'll show you right now because we had like we gave one gift. So I'll show you. And I'll show you my brother's sneakers. And I'm sorry for rambling on. I'm a rambler. Yeah, sorry about that. So, this is it. This is what it looks like. That's it. I gotta pick up a. What does it have a car down? Shut up. Oh, oh, haha. <laughs> That's cool. That's got a 4 gigabyte micro SD card. I'll be switching that out. And, um, yeah, I'm going to have to read the manual. The sticker crap there, it'll probably come off. I'm not too sure what that is, probably a sensor. How the heck do you turn this thing on? Hmm. Ah, check that. Warning. Never a good thing. Do not attempt to adjust. Can't read that fast. 
Oh, low battery. Anyways, I'm gonna install this in the truck. Um, oh, touch screen? No. Yeah, miles an hour. We do kilometers per hour. Uh, time format: twenty-four hours, not twelve. Uh, I'll do all that stuff later. So anyways, it comes with the car thing for driving. Oh, uh, USB, I guess for doing transfer on the computer. Or I could plug it into my USB thing that's on there. And it comes with a little suction cup. So anyways, I'll show you that later in another video. Because I'm going to post this one right away. And I don't want to wait. I gotta get on the road. So, but I'm gonna load this on the computer first. So, anyways, I'll show you what my daughter got me. Yeah, she's always thinking. I told her that we had to make something for Christmas, and she's she did. She hasn't given me that yet, but she wanted something. She knows how much of a woods person I am, and. Um, how an outdoors person I am. So she went and picked up this, which is really cool. And she put our picture in it. So it's basically like little branches or something, and they're twisted around, and it makes a frame. Super nice. Super awesome. So there you go. That's what she got me. Now, let's see what I got for my little brother. And got me a few other things because that was part of my my stocking kit from her she got me a, a pizza cutter and i was like but meg we're not italian and she's like dad we work pizza joints for years and i'm like yeah you're right so and she got me a few other things for the house because that's basically what we're buying for um and i got her one of these so she absolutely loves it and that's what we opened for her or she opened um for her first gift now i have other gifts for her and then also when i picked up this camera here i did pick up a gopro kit so that's that was also from santa Claus. so and then um yeah some other stuff but uh Anyways, um, so this is my little brother's gift, which I'm going to right away before I head out. Um, I was watching EDC Holland, um, and he's got a really fantastic um, YouTube channel. Or he reviews knives and stuff. I'll put his comment below here. Um, so, anyways, I was watching this video and he yeah, he was doing reviews on two different knives. And um, one was a um, uh, I can't remember. It was a it was a brand name, but I can't remember. And then this one was it was a Vanguard nine hundred two. So. Like, wow, that, 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 that's a really cool looking knife. <laughs> I was like, wow. So I talked to him about it and stuff like that. And he did the paper test and all that. I guess I could do that. Um, so uh, I was at looking at them online and stuff like that. And okay, yeah, not bad. Not bad price. About $134. But then with shipping, you're looking at you know, $23 US. Uh, our dollar is 30 points less than the US dollar. Right now, currently, we used to be at par. I like it the way it is right now because business is better. Um, so I was at Cabela's and um, they had them there. And so I was talking to the guy and he's like, oh, you know, these are, these are our only ones that we have left. And um, I'm like, well, what can you do for me? So, so he's like, well they don't come with sheets and i'm like i don't care i can make my own i'm like i got all the equipment i could ever use need i could i could, I could do anything so 
I can figure it out. So I haven't made those yet, but I will. So this is what I got them. So here it is here. So that's a buck, one ninety two, made in the USA. I don't know if you can see that. And it's a really nice knife. Um, we do a lot of deer hunting, and I thought it would be really good for him to have his own knife. So it does have knives, but nothing like this. So, anyways, I was there, and I was like, "Well, let's see this other one." So. What can you do for this? So the guy, I, uh, I paid $102 for this one. Here's regular $134. So then, and I, I read up on this one. So this one was $164. But the steel, and, and, and from talking to uh, uh, Curtis from Starpus, which is Drive Shaft Drew's son, um, he, uh, he always talked about, uh, when he used to go over there, he always talked about the grade of the metal. And um, so this one here, it's a, a buck 192 uh, in the USA, but the, the steel, and this is what he, was, he talked about, is the steel tempered at different, I guess. So this is um, a stronger, stronger steel. And I thought, you know, because I'm the senior, I should have a better knife. So this one was 164 and I got this one for 121 So, So I thought that was pretty good. Now, I did review on um, the uh, on the internet uh, on this knife and some people were complaining that this logo disappears. I can care less about that logo. If that logo disappears, that means I'm using it a lot and that's better. So... So this year, this this coming year, 2017, um, if we get a deer, because I don't want to say we will, um, then I'm going to use this knife, and I'm going to um, give a shout out for this knife and this manufacturer. Um, it's nice to see that stuff is still made in the USA. Stuff is made in, um, in North America. Uh, Think we could do things better here um, but um, this uh, video is now 17 minutes almost 18 minutes long so um, I am going to uh, get going here so I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and um, and a Happy New Year wishing you all a Best of luck in 2017. I'm heading to my house for a week just to um, just to relax, and I will be doing work and um, a different kind of work. So I know I've got a lot of snow blowing to do. So, anyways, everybody stay safe and uh, look in your mail because I will have stuff and I'll be mailing stuff out from there as well. And um, I will be sending out more Christmas uh, ornaments. Um, I do apologize again for staying late. It was just a little bit crazy here at the store. Um, and, uh, but, I mean, you'll get them uh, in the new year. I sent out, uh, my plan was, my goal was just to send out 50. I'm still going to honor that. Um, I'm just mailing out sponges today. I um, Land, sea, and air. I was hoping to get that out. I'm doing that today as well. Um, I had texted them or emailed them saying, yeah, you'll get it for Christmas. Well, this is coming gone. So, um, and Adam Postma, I got your stuff coming out. Uh, Gary Gonzo, um, Kane's world, got your stuff coming out. Um, and a few others. So, um, anyways, y'all have a great day and, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And, uh, we'll see you in the next one.